Yo, you might want to stay away from that. Pull it out any further, and it'll set off the bomb I planted. What? It could very well end up going off anyway. But that'll be up to me. Oh, what the fuck? I can't keep track of how many times this guy has changed sides. As long as Kawai's body exists, Kusumoto-san will never be free. So I'll make sure it's never found again. You guys might want to consider stepping out. Kawana, you can't do it. But I can. This was always going to be the backup plan anyway. If you guys hadn't made it down here, I would have blown up both the body and Soma all in one shot. But still, if Soma dies, I'll never get to the one pulling the strings. And Kusumoto-san will never be free of these goddamn shackles. Kusumoto-san needs to turn herself in. If she keeps trying to hide from all this, she'll be haunted by her past wherever she goes. You'd rather she carry those sins for the rest of her life and all by herself. Because after today, you won't be there to help anymore. You have to leave. You'll disappear. From here on out, you'll need to live deep in the shadows. If she turns herself in, she'd never be able to see Mitsuru again. Her son is finally awake, after 13 years in a coma. Does tearing them apart sound like justice to you? I want nothing more than for everyone involved to get a happy ending. But still, if I turn my back on it now, Sawa-sensei's sacrifice becomes a footnote. That won't work. She can't say her piece without a voice. So if I don't raise mine for her, what justice prevails? Fine. I'll just push the button. Everyone in here can be blown to hell. You really gonna do that? If you guys don't back off, then I will. Do you know how many people I've killed through the years? No. But if you were really that kind of scum, we wouldn't have come down here. You wouldn't be the kind of person worth saving. <laughs> this one is my fight, guys. The way I see this, talk. You and Kuana both have your reasons. Something to consider. But between the both of you, is there really a right answer?
put too much value on it. All it does is crush us. <laughs> That's not true. It's because the truth was being hidden. That's what led to Sawa Sensei's death, isn't it? Set Kusamoto free. It's time for all this to end. I mean, you've got to already know. When justice breaks, someone's always going to find a way to redefine it to suit themselves. And from that point of view, everything you do feels justified. That's why... That's why you're able to look past the sacrifice and the damage you cause. No. I didn't want this. I get that. But who decides what's wrong? Who gets to decide what's right? That's not us. Come on. Sawa Sensei died because you made the choice for her, and you took her truth. Who does that really serve? Tell me who. Why would you want that? The truth is all we have. When the law can't be fair, the truth becomes our last ray of hope. So please, Sawa Sensei's truth. Don't take that from her. Could protect your secret. <laughs> Please lift up your eyes. <laughs> I saw that picture you posted of Kawhi's dead face. I took a hard look. This was the man I killed. I saw the pain in his propulsive face. I saw the consequences of my actions. Sawasa never should have been dragged into this. I saw how I betrayed and abandoned you, too. Kusumoto-san. I've been frightened ever since. I was scared Mitsuru would find out the truth. I was worried he would discover his mother was a monster. And for you as well, Sensei. You carried it for me. You clung to such a dark secret. I made you do this for so long. <laughs> I never should have gone through with it. And I won't let you bear the burden of my mistake anymore. <laughs> That's why I've decided. I'm going to turn myself in. <laughs> <laughs> I have some bad news for you, Mitsuru. Your mother won't be coming home for a while. Mm -mm. It's not work. But I feel I should warn you. I'm going to be placing a burden on your shoulders. I'm so sorry. Mitsuru? Please don't worry, Mom. If anything, I should be the one worrying about you. Huh? I could tell something was bothering you. You've been hiding a problem for a while, haven't you? I'm sure it's been hard. Especially considering what a burden I've been. No. That's not it at all. Don't worry, Mom. I more or less already know. In fact, let me tell you. 
I was doing physical therapy earlier, and I managed to take a few steps. For the first time in 13 years. <laughs> That's... wonderful. It didn't feel like much, really. But still, you know what the doctor said? That if I keep at it, I'll be able to stand on my own two feet. And then I'll be able to walk again pretty soon. <laughs> When that time comes, I'll be there for you. It'll finally be my turn to support you. So please don't worry about me, Mom. Don't let me hold you back. Go do whatever it is you have to do. I'll be waiting. I'm sorry, Mitsuru. <laughs> Thank you. Enter. I don't recall having an appointment with any prosecutors today. Are you familiar with Kazuki Soma of RK? Public security's inside man. He infiltrated the Kamurocho underworld on assignment. As you're aware, he got caught up in some illicit activity. You knew this. Yet somehow his actions stayed off the record. Whatever you're talking about, I have no idea, son. Just so you know, Soma's been arrested by Kanagawa police. The investigation is ongoing. He's the prime suspect in the murder of Yokosawa in her Yokohama home. It's our suspicion that he was acting on the orders he received from you, and that would make you complicit in her death. You wanted to manipulate Reiko Kusumoto, and so you stooped to blackmail. Let me guess why you're here. You want to put all of this out in the open? If it means exposing the truth, certainly. <laughs> you want to burn down Japan? This is bigger than me. It could go all the way up the chain. People of power nationwide would be dragged into your scandal. And some of those people might even be the superiors cutting your paychecks. Yep. But the bureaucracy isn't the monolith you think it is. The more political power you wield, the more enemies you have waiting in the shadows for the opportune moment to strike. We've met with them, and we have their full cooperation on this. As a result, Soasan's security footage has been recovered. It had mysteriously gone missing when the investigation was opened. Upon further review, Kazuki Soma is clearly visible in it. Who would have the authority to order that evidence to be locked away? That would be you, Bando-san. For my part, I did the things I thought were necessary. I'm trying to maintain order. It's not hyperbole that I've saved us. My actions. So if you intend to drag me through the mud, I'll see you in court. So we will. That said, we got this far because those detectives persevered. So I wouldn't expect the prosecution to drop the ball now. We only got this far because those detectives persevered. <laughs> oh, yeah? Wouldn't have expected that from Takano, much less about Yagami. Yes, but Mafuyu said she overheard it herself. He did really say it. In the meantime, Ehara-san has been charged for Mikoshiba's murder, and Reiko Kusamoto for Shinya Kawai's death, too. Both of them are fully cooperating with the investigation. Well... I suppose that ties everything up with a bow, except for Kuana. Yes, Kuana's still missing. He's the last of the loose ends. Hmm, so he is. You think he's still out there? Would he risk his life to keep hunting down and killing bullies? Well, I have my doubts about that. Yagami-san believes he can turn over a new leaf. Ah, uh, some 
things never really change, do they? This place is still filthy. <laughs> Squeaky and clean isn't gonna work for everyone. That's all a matter of taste. I'd say this place just has flavor. You brought some snacks? Yeah. We stopped at the convenience store around the corner on the way here. Come on, Tak. It ought to be you treating the boys. Bring in some sushi to show them how generous you are. Oh, should I know? Well, I'm already way ahead of you. Yo! Did someone order some sushi? Only the best for you guys. Courtesy of Yagami Detective Agency. So? <laughs> Good shit, man. You are a true gentleman. Huh? Hey, what the fuck? There's avocado on this shit. Where the hell did you get this from? Heineke, if you don't like it, you don't have to eat it. In fact, that just leaves more for me. Fine, then I can chew me in salmon roll. Hey, save me the tamago. As long as I got my egg, I'm good. Who goes for the egg? I'll leave Kawhi's body with you. The cops can have him. But then I'm out. I gotta disappear for a while. I'll fade back into the shadows. Like hell, man. If he's arrested, public security would have his head. They'd charge him with the one murder he didn't commit. Sawa Sensei wouldn't get the justice she deserves. And worse, they'd find a way to silence him. Besides, you don't have any proof that I'm even guilty. Anything they could charge me for would never stick. Just what are you getting at? You said yourself that you spent the last several years taking out bullies all over the country. That's got to count for something. I never left a single shred of evidence behind. So good luck. The cops and the prosecution would have nothing to go on. In a legal sense, all you guys can really do is stand there and watch me walk out of here. <laughs> the law has never been very good about being flexible. The whole system is hollow. It can't judge who needs to be judged. It can't save who needs to be saved. I'll expose that. Every action I take serves that goal. As long as kids like Mitsuru continue to suffer out there, I'll do it for them. Even if it means I have to keep my hands dirty, I don't care. Goodbye. You're right about one thing. The law is hollow. As it stands now, the system does fail people. All the same, the law evolves. We have to make it better. But it takes time, and the work is never done. That's why. That's why as long as the law lets people fall through the cracks. I'm gonna be there. Except... I won't do it anything like you. Snitched. You didn't think we'd find out. Come on, don't you have anything to say? Huh? You owe us an answer, don't you? I'm sorry. And there it is. I knew you were lying all along. You are a lying piece of shit, huh? What do you have to say for yourself? You think your apologies are gonna cut it? You're in deep shit, girl, and that's not how this fucking works. So look over here real quick. Say, I'm a bitch and a liar for the camera. <laughs> Do it, or it's gonna get a lot worse. Wow, isn't this gross? What are they doing to that poor girl? Three against one? That's so freaking weak. Pretty fucked up to gang up on her like that. Who said that? Shit. Come on, move it. You don't have to. You've got no reason to go with these guys. What the hell? Mind your own business, assholes. Do you really?
really think we're the ones being assholes? Yeah, that's pretty rude. You guys gotta learn when it's time to give it a rest. Who the hell are you guys? Hey, you three. You need to leave. And stay away from that girl. Terrible kids. I'm so glad someone finally stood up for that young lady. I know. Aren't those Serio High students? Hey, let's just go. Come on. Are you okay? I'm sorry. No, don't be. I'm sorry. Really. I just wish I had seen what was happening earlier. You'll be fine. So to our breaking news, after an anonymous report, the Tokyo Metropolitan Police have announced the discovery of five murder victims. Found in areas across the country, all five victims have evidently been deceased for several years. According to the anonymous tip, the common thread between these victims is that they were all at one time accused of malicious school bullying. The police are working quickly to identify them, and an investigation task force is being launched immediately. This task force's first challenge will be to secure the cooperation of law enforcement across all of the prefectures involved.